Oh yeah, I'm making that face right out of the get right out of the right out of the gate. She's making a face. Oh hi, it's Cross Stitch Cats and Chaos. It's Monday, March 25th, 2024. I'm really trying to get my iPad to balance. And I had it balancing like literally two seconds ago. Hit the play button and nope. It's gonna do its own thing. Do a little dance, Casey's in Sunshine Band. Cool. So this drives me nuts. Sorry for the glare here. So I'm going to try and show things here. I like to go over people. I've had my um, fast lunch of five French toast sticks, a cup of Greek yogurt that really wasn't healthy for me because it says it was all natural, but yet it's birthday cake. How, how is that natural? And um, <laughs> a couple of handful of Fritos. Get this done. I'm sugared up. I got back from PT this morning and that was, I was ready to take a yardstick to people because traffic was crazy and it winds up being an hour, hour and a half drive for me one way. And it doesn't make Frank and Foot very happy. So I said, screw it. I'm going to do a floss tube anyway. Yeah, sorry, my language, screw it. All right, let's get going. We got a lot to cover. Um, first things first, before I forget, uh, Karen's new designs are out. They're on her website. She's got two new flamingo releases of the um, seasonal flamingos she's got strawberry um shortcake strawberry shortcake strawberry cupcake sorry karen don't slap me um and jurassic quaker and i'm sorry i'm just really kind of focused on jurassic quaker and i don't mean to be but it's it's kind of awesome and i just realized i had frito crumb on my boob so sorry about that uh jurassic quaker i uploaded about 16 hours ago the video for the model damned if i know where it went um, I don't know where it's at. It's out in YouTube somewhere. So I asked Kay to check it. I texted her. I said, hey, can you check? This happened once before. And I had to go in and delete it. And it's weird when I upload it from the YouTube site compared to the um, app site. Sometimes it doesn't upload. So I guess it gives me an opportunity to let you know that I am posting the model video of Jurassic Quaker after this video as best as I can. So it's going to be a, a two for one today. Aren't you lucky people? And uh, go watch it because it's a great pattern. I mean, everything that Karen released uh, this past couple days are just great. The flamingos are fun and quirky. And I have the um, strawberry cupcake to um, stitch myself because strawberries and cream. Thank you. That's it. Sorry, Karen. And anyway, um, it's probably one of my favorite combos of strawberries and cream or strawberries and vanilla. So I have that and the backer board to um, finish that. But this probably bar none is my favorite. And it's not because I model stitched it. It's because it's um, dinosaur. Hello. And I don't know if I've mentioned before in the past, I'm sure I have. I do not like Quakers. I'm not a Quaker person. I don't I don't get them. I don't get the flow of them. Um, they're quick stitches, but it's got to really make me go, oh my God, I want to I wanna stitch that if it's a Quaker. Now, I did get a recent Primo Primrose Cottage Quaker of their little ones, but I liked it because of the color. It's one color and because of size. So it will help me practice finishing pillows. Yay me. So I'll, like, I'll do those. But other than that, Quakers don't don't appeal to me except for this one which i'm going to show you on my phone because i don't have the model because i have to send it back to karen which sucks which just means i gotta stitch it again so there it is look at me i'm like where am i um this is by far bar none it took me i think two weeks to stitch up it is hilarious and Karen and I, Karen initially, and I put this in my video, um, she initially charted it for Weeks Dye Works and she switched it over to Brandy Silks. No regrets there, none. And Brandy came up with a, a couple of special colors for this particular pattern and has them in her regular line now, which I don't know of any other dyer that's gonna do that. Maybe I'm wrong, please tell me. Um, Brandy's amazing in working with Karen to make this happen. 
and she pulled out bronze age is the name of the fabric and she pulled out the fabric and and showed us you know and i'm like yeah i this yeah so anywho um i don't know if i don't think karen included the week's conversions i just she didn't want to mix the colors and i respect that so she did them all in brandy silks and i also respect that because they're amazing they they're just luscious and i loved stitching that one that middle t-rex i've already had a couple people say oh my god love it love it love it uh, I, I know right thank you but um it's all karen it's all on karen so get it it's on her website talk to her about getting it to pdf she usually waits a little bit but um they're amazing so anywho moving on i got a lot of stuff yeah and you know what i i might slip and say i got a lot of crap here it's not crap okay it's my crap not your crap I have a lot of stuff. So first thing I want to hit is Missy over at Two Needles Pulling Thread. Missy and Kathy. Uh, Missy posted a tutorial on real simple things for weak dye works. And I'm not going to do it because she has a tutorial on her floss tube site. And she, I think she posted a link to these little buggers. But they found these on Amazon. You can kind of see. I'll shine it so you can't see. Um, and she's attaching the week's tag to, sorry for my fat fingers, the week's tag to it, and it instantly makes it a floss tag. Brilliant, because I'm not a big fan of floss drops. We all know that. But um, I don't like taking these buggers off, but I'm also looking for a different way to store my weeks, and this might be something that I might do. So bless her heart in a good way. She sent me 10 of these buggers to try and I will get to that and I will try it. She also sent me these pretty little um, sticker thingies because look, Monarch. Those gals are great. Love them both dearly. I really wish I was closer to where I could go hit the retreat. Uh, I was talking with a, a fellow Stitcher friend that I've known a long time from Michigan and just last night, and she was saying that her and her husband both are going to the retreat. I'm like, oh, crying emoji. I want to go see Missy and Kathy. Oh, yeah, they probably couldn't handle me right now, though. Moving on up. I have some works in progress to show you. I have... Do I have anything finished? Yeah, I finished a model, but I'm waiting now, going on week three to hear for corrections. So obviously I can't show that yet. Um, what else have I got? I just got a lot of stuff. So let's just dig into it. Kieta sent me a goodie package. Again, some more. Um, these are not goodies that she bought me. These are goodies that I save up and treat myself to. But I absolutely love this pink one. And then this Pretty little blue one anything blue and I like the tight tails the tails that curl around like that because they they're they're tucked in they're not gonna get broken and um, the needle goes in there uh, Kay sent me this needle miter from Leslie um, she's on stash unload she does different patterns bags needle minders you name it and this was kind of a surprise and I had been eyeballing it but it's like it's not a priority for me but then Kay made it a priority for me <laughs> yep that's me totally me it's it's really cool I think that's mother of pearl it's got to be it's really it's really cool it's a really cool minder I like it it's big it's flat kind of like my barrier all right, what other kind of stuff did she send me? Oh, God, the stuff she sent me. Yep, 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 yep. She loaded me up, because now she thinks I'm some kind of professional finisher with pillows. Girl's delusional. She sent me um, a stash of fat quarters. Stuff that she had, like, remnants of, other stuff, you know. She's just like, just for you to play with. I'm like, wow, that's kind of cool. Very appreciative. Because I'm going to play. And boy, oh boy, am I going to play. And play, and play, and play. So I have, let's see. Is that sad? I just looked up to see if I was recording. 
My friend Jen had that happen to her one time. She was like rambling on and on and on and on and on and she thought she was recording a floss tube and she got all done to realize that it wasn't recording. No! So I don't want to do that. So if I go, yup, 10 minutes into it, okay, cool, we're recording. You know why. Anyway, Kay sent me like a ton of just, that should look familiar. That's Oreos Tribute Pillow Fabric. She sent me a ton of chickens. No, she didn't send me a ton of chickens. She sent me in butterflies. She sent me a ton of quarters to play with. Different patterns, different things, all the things. So that will happen. And she sent me this really cute thread bed from, I think it's Como Stitchers. Could be wrong. Look at the fabric, it's so cute. Love it. Thread bed. And I do, I love the thread beds. I will use the snot out of thread beds. I, I like them, they're convenient and all that stuff. And I, she had to have gotten, gotten this from Leslie. I, I don't know if this is from Gina, but pick your poison, Cusco. If you know Disney, it's Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco, Cusco's poison. If you know that. And come on, there it is. Skeleton with a black cat. Yeah, that's me. I think the skeleton and the black cat, maybe that's from, that looks like from Gina, maybe. It looks like a Gina thing. Couple Q snap, snap, snap. Sorry, did I do that too fast? Rewind, pause it. You get to look at my ugly mug, but look at this Q snap fabric. She sent me a skein of the elusive ripe melon that you can't find. I mean, back in January, into January, February, you couldn't find the skein of this floss if my life depended on it. For you that know my address, I will be watching my house, so don't even think about it. But that is for my tiny town. I can't find it anywhere. She sent me the small snack, snack size bag to go with my large size bag. Why am I emphasizing my words? Good God. So we have small. Woo! Add that to my flutter bags. And oops, forgot one. That's my fat quarter stash. All right. These next two things are blow me away, her talent, all that stuff. She's playing with fabric again. Cake is dangerous when she plays for, with fabric. Look at that. There's actually a pattern out there. And yes, this is intentionally done with the zipper at an angle like that. And you know what? I really like it. It's different. It's quilted. It's padded. I like it. I, I don't like it. I love it. And it's so bright and it's so pretty. And then she made me the snack size version. Same thing. Quilted. Pretty. It's almost enough to... Could you see me at retreat? Oh, that's a cute bag. What do you use it for? That's what I use it for. Nap time. Uh, no, I promise I won't do that in the fall. Tempting, but I won't. She also made me this amazing book. She made me the one before. Now she one-upped it and, and did even better with it, I think. I don't know. Anything she does, I think, is pretty obviously amazing. She's very particular because she reinforces her corners on her sewing. And to me, that's huge. Because if you don't, as I'm learning, that, that stuff comes apart. So... Here's my newest little book and the little latch that holds it. Latch? Uh, what do you call it? I don't know what to call it. Whatever. The whole the hold them from falling apart them. Handle. That's what I'm gonna call it. So here it is. This is it's got an envelope on the inside. Sorry. Vinyl, clear, this side. Now, what she did different with this one is that each page. It zips open, that's not different, but instead of a double-sided vinyl, she put fabric on the back, which I like much better. Much, 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 much better. So there's that, there's that. I have a pocket here. So many pockets, it's like a pretty dress, which I don't wear dresses, sorry guys. I just don't, they're not me. And a vinyl pouch here. Amazing, amazing. 
This woman is over the top giving and you know, I always told her, I said, I'm not, I don't ever wanna, you spoil me. You spoil me rotten. And I, I'm not deserving of her friendship because of what she does for me. And I don't ask for anything. I don't take for anything. She's just a very giving person, caring person. I can only imagine. I really wish I would have lived down in Biloxi, Mississippi when we were younger, uh, when I was dispatching. I've said this before, the trouble we would have gotten into is her being a cop and me being a dispatcher, but I would have really have loved to work with her because I bet you she was probably an amazing, compassionate cop, which we need those. So Kay did a beautiful job as always. Thank you, Kay. Appreciate it very much. More than you know. Um, moving onward. I've got... <laughs> I have a viewer that was sweet enough to reach out to me and said, you know, if you don't mind me having your address, no, I'm not a stalker, I promise. Cindy, don't ever start the conversation out that way. Ever. I'm not a stalker, but <laughs> you play one on TV? What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She asked if she could have my address because she works for um, a company that is Michigan, Michigan based, I think. And, or it's in Michigan where she works anyway. And, she said, I have some things that I think you're going to really like, and we're, we're phasing them out. I'm like, okay. I'm game. Whatever. So, me being me, gave her my address, didn't really think anything about it, and she, I think it was a couple days later, I got this box, and I, I had totally squirreled. I didn't forget about it, but I just squirreled. I, I had to move on, you know what I mean? Life gets in the way. And I'm like, what is this? I don't remember ordering anything. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. And I opened it up and I just busted out laughing because I was having a, a bad seal a day. And I'll get to that. And <laughs> she sent me two boxes of 100 count Band-Aids. I still laugh because you know what I'm going to do? I just half tempted to do is, you know, when you're feeling that need for your second husband in your life is to take the Captain America band-aids and just, you know, put them all over. I got boo-boos all over Cap. Can you, can you make them better? Can, can, could you see me sitting there with Captain America band-aids all over me and sniffing my candle that Karen got me wrapped up in the blanket? Might happen. It it probably will happen. Not might. So, um, I said, you thank you. <laughs> it it makes me giggle when I see them. I almost hate to reuse, hate to use them, but um, a lot of first responders are using these, I guess, and they're phasing them out, which is really kind of sad. But you know, and there's one right now. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I got Chris on my belly. All right. Still like that. Um, recent happenings, I went to the Butterfly House this past week. Yay! My yearly trip of the Meyer Garden Butterfly House, I went and went to go see my flutters. Oh, after therapy. Yeah, so like I said, it takes an hour and a half for me to get to Grand Rapids, and it was perfect because I got there at the crack of dawn to do my therapy. And when I got out, and by the time I got to Meyer Gardens, I got there right when they opened at nine. And yay me. So there, I beat the crowd. I beat parking. I beat all of it. It was great. And got in there and um, just, oh my God, the amount of blue morphos, the amount of blue morphos that were in there when I went were crazy. Oh my gosh, they were so beautiful. And they, now I know, you know, things happen. But I'm looking for a blue morpho, mor 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 blue morpho picture that I took uh, to show you how they were just different this year. They were more friendly. They were more um, they were more social butterflies. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, they weren't anti-social butterflies. <laughs> Previous years, the morphos wouldn't land. They wouldn't open their wings. They wouldn't have anything to do with you. This year, they were when I went, there were a ton of them. And secondly, they were just, they would sit and they would open their wings and they would sun. 
They would just sit in the sun. So I've kind of made that conclusion of now I need to be there first thing when they open because the sun coming up and hitting that greenhouse and they're, they're getting warm. And, you know, and I heard a lady say, I didn't realize a butterfly sun like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, wouldn't you? So this is a picture I took of, hello, one of the blue morphos. I, and it sat there probably for like 10 minutes. I kid you not. I'm like, all right, taking full advantage of that. I posted pictures, um, I think on my Insta, I don't remember, but just stunning. When I walked in, that greeted me just like that. Yep, trying to get out of the sun. You, you, I just, you can't get enough of them. So, you know, I was super happy. I sent this to, um, I have, they give you a field guide every year. I sent that to my my bitches and said, look where I'm at. I'm coming to feng shui. I'm coming to be one with a butterfly. And of course, you know, I had to stop and pick up some friends to bring home. Now, please don't ask me. I know what they are. I can't say their names. I got these. One, because I already have a blue morpho, and I posted that in one of my first floss tubes when I started. Um, but these I don't have. And these are butterflies that Nora used on her recent um, Daphne's Butterfly, or Delphine's Butterfly Brigade, excuse me. So I wanted these. I wanted these to kind of go along with it. But you can't see on the camera, but as I'm looking through here, the light shining through the wings and the back is iridescent. I just, where did, where did these butterflies come from? I wish I could show you. Yeah, sorry, you got insect body there, but I wish I could show you how beautiful these are in person. But um, these will go in my room here, along with my Morpho, along with my Monarch. Um, trust me, folks, they don't kill them. They die naturally. They preserve them naturally. So... Don't be screaming up my floss to feed for Peter or something, okay? Disclosure. Right there's my edited disclosure. All right, so I did that last week, and I plan on taking Jennifer next Monday after my PT therapy, which is at the crack of dawn, Jennifer. Reminder. And I, you know, I told Jennifer, you need to be at my house by 6 15 because I have to leave here by 6 30 to get to therapy on time to fight traffic and I'm thinking about giving her a sleeping pill for the ride yeah Jennifer gets anxiety don't you Jen so I'm, I'm gonna have to I thought oh I could put a hood over her head that wouldn't look well <laughs> I can see the 911 calls now yeah there's a lady driving down there's a lady with a hood over her head I think she's been kidnapped Mm-hmm. Yep. That'll go over great. Moving on. Anyway, I'm gonna take Jennifer next Monday because she's been, you know, I don't know how to see the Oh, here's the field guy. There you go. Just kind of came across that in my pile. So let's see. Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Well, it's not an orange tip. I don't know what it is. It's a butterfly. Anyway. There you go. Okay, I've got one of those for you. I'm sending it to you. So there's that. So um, I'll have to, I don't know, maybe Jen and I could do a live YouTube there. Maybe. If we don't get too many looks and too many screaming children in the background. Yeah. Some stash. Market stuff. Yeah, baby. Um, I'm only missing one pattern. It's coming. It's Plum, C Plum Street Samplers Stars. And I guess Paulette only had X amount to give out at market. And that happens. They take like maybe, you know, 10 of them. And not all shops pre-order. I'm okay with it. You know, if one chart is all that I have that I didn't get and it's coming, I think I'm gonna be okay. So market stuff, this isn't all market stuff, but um, I'll let you know when it's not or what it is, whatever. All right, this is not market. 
score big time, big time. Jen and I went in halvesies and ordered the patterns together, okay? And I really, 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 really want the kits. Because it's idiot proof for me, I don't have time. The fabric in matches, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about dye lot stuff. I don't have to go hunting for beads or charms. If push comes to shove, I guess I will. But either way, Jen and I went halvesies on the patterns and it's like, cool. So when she's done with them, I'll get them, whatever. That's fine. But if I come across the kit, I'm grabbing it. And this one is a huge score because this one is really hard to get. So I apologize to whoever was watching this on eBay. If you watch my tube, please don't start watching because I need you mad. But I really wanted it. So I got it. And it came with everything. So that's one down, four to go, four. And if you're interested in helping me out, I'll tell you what I'm missing. Um, I only have four to go. Kenny at Kenny Stitches told me of some, and those were acquired. They're not here yet, but they were acquired. And I'm looking for the pictures of the four that I'm missing. Sorry, don't mean to mumble. All right, I need, and I've got Kay searching on this too. I need Alice for Lamb. That would be great. T is for tea time. These are the ones that I'm missing. W is for which. Which one? Which. Z is for zebra. And those are the ones that the kits, I'm looking for kits. If you have kits, you don't want them anymore. Reach out to me, please. Um, sorry, squirrel, bird. I will gladly discuss with you how I can go off taking it off your hands. So there's that. Those are my unicorns. Um, this one's, wait a minute, a couple of these are markets. Hold the phone. All right, Fabulous House Series number four, Cottage. Probably will not stitch this one. And number five, a picture of number five just came out. That is The Hobbits, and I probably will not stitch that one either. I don't have it yet, so I can't show you, but you can look online and you can see it. So now after seeing this one, and uh, I, I like this one. I like it, but it's not calling for me to stitch it. Neither is The Hobbit House. The Hobbit House is cute. If I was to stitch that, it would be for my daughter, who's the library book freak. But um, that's not calling for me to stitch it. And I'm okay with it. So that gives me pretty much five patterns in the okay for me to cut my 36 count that I ordered from Fox and Rabbit. Well, not from Fox. It's Fox and Rabbit's fabric. But um, I was going to wait because I bought the piece big enough to do all 12 on there. But I, like I've said before, I don't have any wall space. So um, now I don't feel bad cutting that fabric. So I'm going to hurry up and wait and see what else is coming out. But there you go. That's market. This is not market. This is market. Get your shit together, Lori. If y'all find my poop, would you put it in a group? All right, Dirty, Dirty Annie's Hissing Booth. I ordered this one back from Shelly at Just Stitching. Um, she, she just got it in. It happens. Again, I, I'm in no hurry. Shelly always busts her bum to accommodate me, and she's wonderful. So if you're... I, I love her. I'll give her my business as much as I possibly can. So there you go. Hissing booth. Yep. Loki doesn't hiss angrily or anything. He's he's a sweet boy. I wonder if I could change it to sweet boy booth. But he's a sweet boy. He he gave you kisses. He gives you kisses. He actually gives you baths. And he's a happy boy. I don't think he's still in here. No, he walked out. Go figure. But Sila. I could change it to Sela because that would be her hissing booth. 100% Sela Ann. She sent me some cute little freebies. Um, ooh, getting mad and throwing stuff here. Oops, sorry. Gotta go dive in there. A uh, couple freebies. Cricut Collection Shamrocks. Never enough shamrocks. I'll probably do that one. 
Um, a dishwasher magnet, I probably won't do that one, but who doesn't like freebies? Moving on. Printed some more of my Good Morning Molly. And I need to get a new printer cartridge. <laughs> yeah. So um, here's the recent Good Morning Maui's that I finally got printed off that I've had forever. Tale as old as time. Song as old as rhyme. Beauty and the Beast. All right. The Office. That's what she said. Gotta love it. Um, planes, Trains, and Automobiles. One of the most underrated John Hughes film ever. And I hate to say, one of my favorite parts is where Steve Martin goes off on a nut to the uh, automobile attendant. And I'm sorry, that's, it's probably rude. It is rude, but it's hilarious. It's comedic timing. And to hear him use the F-bomb so many times, when I was younger, I was like, oh my God, I need to go clean my ears out with a Q-tip. Now I'm as old as I am and I, I just, I don't care because you know what? It's funny. Um, those aren't pillows. And if you know, you know, too funny. <laughs> I don't have any really a lot of Thanksgiving stuff. So, and that's really a Thanksgiving movie. So I need to print it out. This is where my cartridge started to die, but I wasn't going to reprint it. I'm just not because it doesn't affect the uh, pattern at all. So, um, yeah, I was one of those people that watched Tiger King and laughed hilariously laughed at that show. Um, hey, all you cool cat and kittens laughed hysterically at this show because they're a bunch of idiots. I mean, it was just so funny. I'm sorry. Don't need to be mean by calling somebody that, but just, oh my God, just so funny. So that's my up-to-date Good Morning Maui. I don't have a lot more to print off, believe it or not. I know, shocking. All right, I'm trying to find a place to put stuff. I got these at Meyer Garden. Sorry, backtracking a little bit. I don't know where I can put these on my um, little brother, but it might happen. Get my own flutters, flutter stickers. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a, a place for those. All right, moving. Oh, on my way home today from. I won't get off the road too much, but off the path, whatever. On my way home from. Therapy. I'm just driving, minding my own business, like, okay, cool, ready to get home. Um, after I stopped at John, Dollar General, and I'll back up on that one, I saw, unfortunately, I saw a deer on the side of the road, which here in Michigan, they're sprinkled like salt everywhere certain times of the year. I saw two crows on top of a deer. Now, that's gross. But my mind went to... Bob and Phil on their lunch break and Bob going, oh man, have you tried these spare ribs? Oh my God, they're delicious. And Phil going, man, this loin is just tender as it can be. You gotta have some of this. They're not gonna charge you extra. That's where my mind went. Two crows on top of a deer. I'm like, oh my God, I need to go home and I need to eat. Not because I saw that, and no, I didn't have venison. But, oh, like, Lori, what is wrong with you? So I went to Dollar General. That was my first stop. I wanted to go in there for a hair clip because I haven't gotten my hair cut in a while because I just haven't had time. And toothpicks, crazy combinated thing to get, but the toothpicks have to deal with Sela. So I went to Dollar General, no hair clip, Oh boy. But um, came out not with a hair clip and toothpicks, came out with a picture frame, a rug, toothpicks, and a candle. Well, that's a fine how do you do. I think someone just slapped me into oblivious and said, just go shopping. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. But the picture frame was kind of hard to um, pass up. So I wasn't going to, you know, whatever. But this picture frame reminded me of a beehive. So I got it. Dollar General. I don't know if all Dollar Generals have them, but Dollar General. There you go. Sorry, it's, it's really bright. The sun's being elusive. It's being peekaboo. So I liked the weather look to it. And five bucks. You know, it's a little bit more expensive because it's not 
you know, the dollar store, but it's Dollar General. So I'm standing there in Dollar General going, hmm, five by seven. So I look at the Nora B and I look at the Nora Queen B and they're going to be too big unless I do them like over one, which, hello, granny eyes. It is not going to happen. But, but, I'm like, okay, I, I know what, I know what I want to do on this. It's got to be something bee related. So I went to the Mirabella site and I knew she had a free bumblebee from years ago. I know I have it printed off and I know I have everything in my stash to do it already. And I'm not going to put it on honeycomb fabric, but I could, because I think I have a piece of that somewhere. But I'm going to look at the bumblebee that she put on their site. That's a freebie and I can show it. Relax, people. So I think, and I did the math, it's tiny. It's going to fit in that. And I think that's going to be amazing. And I think I'm going to kit that up when I get done yapping at y'all. But I think I am pretty sure I have the Black Whisper. Ugh, maybe not all the Krynik. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Two, two DMC floss and 50,000 spools of Krynik. And this one little bumblebee. Jesus, when you get out from your tomb, take the wheel. Okay. So I was really excited over this. I would love to have gotten, you know, a couple more and brave doing the queen bee and the bee. But I just am not in the mood to torture myself over one unless I go underneath a magnifying glass. I could go back to the Dollar General and get the get more of those frames. They had a few of them. And what I'd be out, 10 bucks? Maybe. Might do it, maybe. All right, let's get to. And if you watched Bob, Bob and Tom back in the day, chick. Let's get to some markety darkety stuff. Markety darkety stuff. Oh, I went to work the other day. And as I'm digging for my market stuff, sorry. Um, this is not market. This is what I was talking about with Quakers. I got this from directly from Primrose. But this is going to be like these little these little stitches are perfect pillow practice pieces. Pillow practice pieces. The three P's. I like it. So quick stitches, perfect practice pieces for Rick Rack whatever it may be. So, and what is it just, is it one color here? I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's just <laughs> right melon, go figure. The one I just showed. So why not, of course I'm not gonna use this, my treasured right melon, but um, boy, that's pretty. But one skein of floss, 32 count, it's an 80 by 80, so you know, even if you did it on a smaller count, still perfect practice pieces. I like it. That's why I would I would do those. They're pretty colors and they're tiny. Not justifying Quakers. Trust me, I'm not justifying Quakers. Dress a Quaker, I will though. I, I would fight for that. That's an amazing thing to do. All right, um, moving outward. Let's see, I've got some market stuff. Y'all have seen market stuff from all over. This one is not market. This came late. And this came with my Primrose order because I have the couple of floss tubes ago I showed I have the lemon stand. So I wanted the pins and I thought, well, I have to justify it because that pattern can't go by itself. Justified. There you go. This was on a kind of a clearance kind of sale. And, you know, I, I know the model stitcher that did this one, and I got to see pictures. And I wasn't crazy about it until I saw her pictures. And, wow. Their stitching is impeccable anyway. And, personally, I think their stitching, and I'm going to say their, because I'm not going to say it's a he or a she. Their stitching, I think, is even better than mine. And, not that I'm boasting myself at all, but, um... I remember seeing this person stitching in person at a retreat and I asked them 
that they had considered and they're like, no, are you crazy? And I'm like, well, yeah, I am, but um, that's beside the point and that's not what I'm talking about. It's like kind of like, don't call me Shirley. But I recommended this person to stitch for Witch Out and they are stitching for Witch Out. I don't think they've um, done anything in a while, but I got to reach out to them. Make sure they're doing okay. But this is beautiful in person. And it's different, and I like that. Because I'm different. All right. I feel like I'm breathing on you, but I know you're like on the other side of wherever you're at. Because my lunch consisted of what it consisted of, I have freed all breath. It's attractive. Very attractive. All right. So market, let's get to market goodies. I saved, I spent, I feel better because it's not charged. I sprinkled a little bit. Um, yep, yep, yep. So first things first, Brandy, th there's a mixture between Shelly and Brandy at Bee Stitch Me and um, yep, Bush Mountain ordered from them. No issues. Um, Meanne did a, a great job. So, anywho, um, I did a sprinkle. And Brandy, I asked her if she was able to get me something that no one had listed. She's like, yeah, what is it? I sent her the picture. She's like, yep, I'll put a link up for you. I'm like, what? Cool. So I ordered it and I'm ecstatic because Barbie is wonder bar. I love Barbie. I haven't seen Barbie in a couple years since Galleria and um, I'm kind of sad because I love Barbie. She's great. She I, just everything about her is funny. She's wonderful. She's quirky. But anyway, she had the board, which this is a, the hoop and bobbin is Scarlet Sky. Okay? And it goes with her Rascals pattern. Bunny? Bunny. I had to have this board. And I sent her a message and I said, I got to get the board. Say, say, what do I need to do to save me a board? So I immediately contacted Brandy and Brandy's like, yeah, I'll get your board, no problem. So I told, I let Barbara know, Brandy from Bee Stitch Me is getting me a board. I paid her. Don't sell out. You know, and then my, I'm, not, I'm kidding. They were, they were dolls. They were both dolls. But this, this obviously is not going to get done before this weekend because Leap Year really threw things up. But um, it's all DMC too. So it's adorable. I want to try and figure out how to maybe crackle finish that. Not good at that. I hear the jingle bells of a Kit Kat. So maybe that's Little Bear. Of all times, I'm in here, and they don't come in here. Then I'm not in here, and they're standing at the door with torches and pitchforks threatening me that they're not in Mom's craft room. Because cat. Next one. This one was from Shelly. Yep, I'm trying to remember where I got this one from. I guess it really doesn't matter. This is a mixture between Shelly and, and Brandy and, yeah, and Bush Mom, like I said. Papa Easter. I have all the pops. I, I could probably stitch this in two days. Probably. But would I have it finished to display? Probably not. So why, you know, hate myself during this going, I have to get this finished. Uh. No, not doing it. But Papa Easter, love, get Bent Creek. Sweet Wing Studio. Oh, I love her so much. Um, this called to me for my daughter. Well, for me. But it called for me for my daughter. Um, it is Far Better Things from C.S. Lewis. And there are far better... Yeah, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. This talks to me. This sings to me. Because I've left so many things behind in knowing that there's more better in front of me. Now the board is pretty, but it's not me. That that's not 
the board's not calling me. Um, I like the check pattern or the, you know, whatever pattern that is in the background. Uh, I'm looking to see if she has anything on here. Probably not. Nope. Nope, not seeing it. But anyway, um, I probably won't finish on the board. Nope. All right, uh, the fish flag. Get Bent Creek, because I had the squirrel one. I had to have the fish. I had to have the penguin. That screams Emily. My friend Emily likes penguins. She's so funny. Uh, Nelson. I did not know. This is Plum Street, Plum Street Samplers. I did not know that this was a companion piece. Um, Paulette said that on her Instagram. So now I got to go find it. I, I don't know what it is, but now I got to go find it. Because, you know... George Washington, you know, it's our country. Tis of the sweet land of liberty. And Paulette's patterns are underrated. Her stuff is really beautiful in person. So if you've never done one, give her a chance because her, her stuff's gorgeous. I got the Happiness is Homemade cookbook. And they went to a second printing. If you've not gotten this cookbook, or if you don't get the cookbooks, I strongly recommend you get the cookbooks. Not necessarily for cooking, um, but for the patterns alone. Um, Silver Creek's got a piece of pizza on it. It says, peace out. And it's, I'm gonna cover it because even though, I mean, quirky, love it. So the cookbooks are good. There's already a couple recipes in there that I think I may try. Uh, this one was last minute, all right, kind of thing. Spring chicken. Go figure. Yeah, kind of has Laura's name on it. 66 by 66, it's not that big. But I like it on the shiplap board on the back, the frame. Very cool. Tiny modernist. This one is just beautiful. Mementos of the heart. This was the last ditch. Yeah, I gotta have that one too. It's heart and hand. And it has past designs revamped to new. So, you know, something old, something new kind of theme to it. And I think this one is the new one in there. But her, every year she does a heart kit. And I can't show you because it's got the patterns right there. Well, I can show you this page. Um, I don't want to bend my book. Yeah, kind of OCD about that. So let me cover this up with a Mirabella here. So she does something old, something new. So this was the old version, and then the lower is the, the new version. And, you know, I like them both. I like this one. But she's got a charm there that, and she clearly puts on there, they're not available anymore. They're like almost, you know, 20 years old. So good luck finding it. But if you find it, bravo. But, um... That called to me because of, you know, Valentine's Day. We don't celebrate it, but we were married in that month. So, excuse me, I don't have enough Valentine's stuff. This one I blame Kenny for at Kenny Stitches. 100% blame him for that. Yep. Dirty Annie's. Um... Classic Colorworks, Gast, and Weeks. All a combination. I won't do it on that fabric. Nope. And the, the colors are not monarch color. I, I know they're supposed to probably look more like antique type of color. I mean, they're pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's different. That's me. Uh, little Robin designs. I've not seen a lot of this stuff posted. Um, straighten your crown. This is also me. Totally, totally me. And guess what? I can make that pillow. It might take me five days, but I'll do it. Don't tell anybody. I like that. Crowns. This is, um, I'm waiting for stars from Plum Street. This is the second half of it. Um, and stripes from Shakespeare's Peddler. 
I liked her stuff when she had her stuff going strong. Um, I didn't realize that this was a, like a series, but I loved it. Fell in love with it. So here's the end stripes. So stars is coming. And if you look on the back, you can see the star version right there. So that, that was screaming, Lori. This one, um, Aaron Elizabeth's American flag. I got, I'm going to be honest. This is the first one, Aaron Elizabeth, outside of the bunny that I own. I own a lot of Shannon stuff. Um, I love Shannon stuff. This is the first Aaron that really called to me to do. And I know it looks like it's, you know, Quakers. And to me, it's not Quakers. To me, it's stars. So there's that. It's very pretty, and it can be stitched up very quick. But that's Star's American flag. And I got the notorious rinky-dinky-doos to go with them. I did like the variation in this, so that's why I went ahead and got it. Um, I would just as soon do it in brandy silks, to be honest with you. But there you go. There's that. This one I eyeballed... A, a long time ago, long time ago, probably last year, not that long ago, um, when it came out as a kit and it was an exclusive for someone, I'm pretty sure I can't, yes, okay, it was released as a monthly club in 2022 through Annie Miller of Crazy Annie Stitching. So she had a lot of requests to release them in the general public and I'm glad she did. So Teresa Kogut was generously shared her book printer with me and I knew that I would do it. So thank you, Teresa, for doing that because a lot of people have called for these, including myself. Um, amazing. 12 Days of Christmas, Christmas stockings. And I did not, so obviously I didn't sign up for the originals, but um, I'm glad that she did it in a book because now I can do it at my own pace and at my own time and finish my own things. Finish all the things. This makes me hungry. Shouldn't do that. Yep. That's it. Holy guacamole. That's it for market. That really isn't a lot. That's mild for me. I, I was shocked. I had a budget. I stuck to it. I only went over one thing. And that was the um, heart and hand. That was, a again, a last minute thing. I'm proud of myself for not going ape shit. That's it. Yay! That's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. No, I lied. I, I, uh, I lied. There's one stuck way down in there. This is actually the first one that I meet on. It's Praiseworthy Stitches Little Mummy Kit. So you get the you get the pail and you get the thing to make the little pumpkin. So there's that. I eventually sugar's got me shaking. Eventually. We'll get that done. I don't do a lot of that kind of kit stuff, but it's okay. I do like it when things like that do come in a kit and it makes it really quite simple. So there's that. Um, all right. So moving onward, I have some works in progress. I have Nothing major to show you, and then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, my God. I actually kept it under an hour almost. I started Autumn Lane's Spooky Stroll. This was released at market. However, I had gotten this in their Halloween box, and I am just now getting to it. Face yourself, Lori. Isn't he adorable? I think he's adorable. I really struggled with the fabric on him because they recommended, you know, the silver. It makes all the colors pop. I wanted something more spooky. I mean, the back picture that he's on, Aaron, you know, kind of made him look like he's sinister or whatever. But um, I had to do him more on some more spooky type of fabric. And I really love how he's turning out. So there's that. 
That won't take me long to finish, not at all. The next work in progress is an, not an old one, but I picked it up because it was calling to me, and that's the Keep Looking Up, Karen's Dinosaurs. Yesterday I finished all the tree. So I'm in a, the Stitchy Shacks group, and they did like a 400 stitch challenge yesterday. I can't really count all of that, but I can guarantee you that's more than 400. All of it. And plus I screwed it up. So I had to rip a lot of this out over here. But I'm debating. I think I might finish the tree trunk on this today. Yep. But I love how it's turning out. The colors are just fabulous on this. And with this, I'm going to send it to Jill. And I'm going to... Hold one second. My son's texting me. Sorry. Hmm. Sorry about that. All right. So anyway, I'm going to send this to Jill. And I'm going to have her play with it because I need a pterodactyl on here. And I've got a volcano idea and pterodactyl. Like a, a, a confused pterodactyl. It's got to be up here. Yep, confused pterodactyl, absolutely. Kind of like this guy, confused. Like, what the hell is that? Oh, going back to spooky. Um, Cassie posted, Cassandra in Autumn Lane posted a picture frame with her spooky stroll in it, and I my jaw dropped. I'm like, I gotta have it. I have to have that picture frame. So I was able to find it. Now, she's working on getting these pictures framed listed in their store i'm not gonna say what etsy shop i got it from because they don't have any more i went back to look and they don't have any more so it's not fair to my tubers to go oh my god i gotta have it so the frame i got is the exact same frame that she she posted it with and it's heavy and it was a little bit more than i wanted to spend but it's worth it so that picture frame made that the pattern is amazing on its own, but the picture frame made it. So that's that's gonna happen. So anyway, that's that. Um, give me one second. So sorry. Last thing. I'm looking around. Last thing. I promise. I haven't worked on my teacup. I did make progress on my um, silver needle flag. But it's over there, and I'll show it next time. But the flag's all done. The star's on it. The star wasn't charted on the pattern. So um, with me doing some manipulation, I was able to stitch the star onto said flag. And plus, it's rainbow gallery thread, and dear God in heaven, that stuff is a pain in the ass to get to lay flat. It's ribbon. So that went into timeout. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't need to be frogged. It just went into timeout because I didn't like it. The last thing I want to show is Karen's American Pie. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Let me grab it out. Not a lot of progress on it, but I got some on it. I decided to do it on 32 count papers. Yes. I think. Vapors. Anyway, um, Atomic Ranch Vapors. Yep, 32 count. So I started and I got the blue portion of the flag done. It doesn't look like a lot. This fabric is not getting its justice. It's a light gray. It's, it's vapors. You know, it's the vapors. Oh, I got the vapors. So that's that. Karen still has these available. Make contact with her. These are adorable. Um, doing it on vapors gonna pop and the kit came with everything but fabric and floss so I'm digging hold please if you don't see oh, she even put finishing instructions in there for morons like myself so it came with all the goods to finish it what are you waiting for it's an adorable pillow this was from Market last year. She does have some kits left over. Go get one, people. Because it's it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. All right. I think that's all I have. Oh, quick update on Sela. I 
I've had some people ask, which thank you very much for reaching out in kind. Um, Sila has FIC, which is female, fem uh, female, feline idiopathic cystitis. Kind of fancy. Um, right now she's kind of an unhappy kitten. She's uncomfortable. She's not in pain. I'm starting to get the pain under control, but she's uncomfortable. And if you have cats and if you're not familiar with FIC, I just strongly, I, I've never come across this in any of the cats I've ever owned. So this was a complete blind sight for me. It's not cancerous, it's not curable, but it is treatable and manageable depending on the cat. So she's getting some medication to help her chill. She's getting some, um, which is called busporin or it's fluoxetine, which is the female, ver or female, sorry, feline version of Prozac. So she's getting busporin. She's getting meloxicam, which is an anti-inflammatory and pain medication. And right now I've got her on antibiotics, so that's gonna soon stop. But, um, and she's also on Cosequin, which is a, a joint supplement, but it's been known to help felines with FIC. So talk about learning so much in such a little of time and Dr. Jenny's been wonderful and you know the next step this is a slow process so the clues for this if you guys are kitty owners it can happen in females it can ha it happens a lot of the times in males so even with fixed or neutered males um they mark and we all know as cat owners what marking is if you don't, it's where they, they don't use the litter box, but they, it's called spraying for males. They mark their territory. That's why it's called mark. Um, but for Sela, what's causing her to do that is bladder spasming, which is the idiopathic cystitis. She has no control over it. So we've got to get that bladder relaxed and get it under control. She's using the litter box. She's doing great with that. But um, it's very uncomfortable. It, it can be painful for them um, because it's spasming and there's no way to really stop it. And the idea is to try to keep them calm. Now, you know as well as I do what it's like to keep a cat calm. Yeah, okay. So um, the short of it, it's been stressful for mom. Um, it's been around the clock meds. You know, either when I get home from work or first thing in the morning, I'm tethered to the house for quite some time now. She's getting a little bit of separation anxiety if I'm not near. She usually sees this crack from door open and she's in here like yesterday. She's not today. Um, she was sleeping when I got home from therapy, so I let her sleep. I don't disturb her. I check on her, make sure she's all right. Plenty of water, plenty of fluids. She was not a wet cat, wet can cat food cat. But I'm introducing her into like those, they're called churros or parade type treats. She's doing better about taking a wet type of food, which is key because more fluid, the better. So she's not, she's eating, she's drinking, she's doing great there. So I'm not concerned about that because her um, quality of life has not declined, which thank you for that right now. But I, I'm a realist, and I have to just keep an eye on her. And as much as it would kill me to do it, um, I, I have to do everything I possibly can to make sure that Itty Bitty is comfortable. And if she's living comfortably, then I'm good. If she's not living comfortably, then I'm not good. And it's a bridge that I really hope I don't have to cross. So... Um, Anywho, so that's a quick update on Itty Bitty. Thank you for those that reached out to me and asked. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. I know it, most people are like, it's just a cat. Well, it is just a cat. However, it's not just a cat. Um, they give you so much and you don't deserve them. As humans, like Loki, I don't, I don't deserve Loki. That, that kiddo, you know, has my back at all given times. He's in the other room and... He's always watching mom, making sure everything's okay with mom. So they are our guardian angels, whether you want to admit it or not. So anywho, 
that's that. That's all I've got for you this week. It is Holy Week for those that um, celebrate Easter and the coming of Christ. Easter blessings to you. And I've said all this week, and you know, Jesus, I'm not ready for you yet. Stay behind your tomb because I'm, I'm just not ready yet. I'll let you know when I need for you to take the wheel. It's going to be soon, but not quite yet. So you, you got to do what you got to do. So happy Easter. Don't indulge on um, bunnies too much. Make it Fritos and yogurt and life will be good. So hopefully I'll get you another update soon. And I'm again, hoping to get that Jurassic video up if it's not. And that will get posted today as well, if not reposted. Okay. So cheerio. Have a good day. Go eat Cheerios. I don't care. Whatever. And catch on the flip side. Take care.